I've been playing video games for as long as I can remember. Be it on my dad's Atari 2600 or my Super Nintendo, or any of the other computers or consoles I had growing up. Boogie2988 made an excellent video a few days ago about the games that had the biggest influence on his life, and it got me thinking. I wondered what games have had the biggest impact on my life. Hi, I'm the Linux Gamer, and if you'll indulge me for just a moment, here are seven of the most influential games of my entire life. And keep in mind, these aren't going to be Linux games necessarily. I've been a gamer longer than I've been a Linux user. And do note that these aren't necessarily my favorite games, although they are up there. These are games that I feel have had the biggest impact on me and my understanding of what games can be. Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the first game I ever remember playing. I was two years old when this game was released, and I played it around that time with one of my oldest friends, Caleb. The idea of controlling a character on screen was so awesome to me, and I can remember as clear as day, sitting on the floor in Caleb's living room and staring at the overworld, and then watching as he tackled the first level and handed me the controller. It clearly laid a foundation upon which I would understand and interpret video games for years to come, and I can't think of a more fitting game to kick off my lifelong passion for games. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. A Link to the Past rocked my little world. My dad had an Atari, but the graphics were terrible, and I never enjoyed playing with that crappy paddle. But then we rented a Super Nintendo with A Link to the Past, and I loved it. The world was so bright and colorful. The animations, especially the beginning intro scene, was mesmerizing, and I felt powerful as Link, moving from screen to screen and tackling baddie after baddie. A Link to the Past proved to me that video games could be art, while also being fun. Earthbound. I never actually played Earthbound legitimately until later in life. I can remember as a kid staring up at the big, beautiful Earthbound box sitting atop the Super Nintendo rental shelf at the shop and save in my town. And I remember begging my mom to rent it for me, but my family was incredibly poor, so I never had a chance to play it. That is until Carl showed me emulators. He was playing Kirby on his dad's Power Mac, and I asked, how can I get this on my computer? I had a very specific game in mind, Earthbound, the game I never got to play. And when I finally sat down with this game for the first time, I learned several things. That video game soundtracks can truly move you. That you can identify with video game characters on a profound and intimate level. And most importantly, I learned that video games themselves can be emotional. Earthbound, perhaps more than any other game on this list, has left an indelible impression upon my soul. How I understand the world, my sense of empathy, and my appreciation of friendship. Each of these were touched by this amazing RPG of a young boy and his friends on an adventure to save the world through teamwork and faith. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, dude. Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64 demonstrated to me that games didn't have to follow a straight path to the goal. I realized while playing Mario 64 that I could go anywhere. Mario 64 opened my eyes to the concept of 3D environments, and I often find myself lamenting the lack of true follow-ups to this game. Mario 64 gave me, as a player, freedom. It empowered me to explore a fantastical world at my own pace, find stars out of order, and showed me that a character can move in a precise and skillful way through 3D space. Unreal Tournament. If you've been following this channel for a while, you probably know I love the Unreal Tournament series. If that's news to you, it may seem weird. It honestly seems weird to me too. I think the tongue-in-cheek nature of the game coupled with the fierce competition, extreme skill, and elegant strategy of UT99 and 2004, that's what makes these games masterworks to me. However, the reason the original game is on this list is twofold land parties and controls. This is the first game I ever played over LAN, and it was a transcendent experience. My brothers and I, and there are four of us, would play this game for hours. One summer, the family garage was packed to the brim with our friends, their computers, and we played Unreal Tournament, especially Assault Mode, for days. It was chaos with people screaming furiously, headshotting opponents, and actually punching other people in real life. But the other reason I included UT on this list is the controls. Unreal Tournament was the first game I ever played using the standard WASD control scheme. It was super weird at first as WAS and D felt so arbitrary, but I trusted my friend's suggestion that I change them, and I'm glad that I did. 
Playing Unreal Tournament felt even more freeing than Super Mario 64. I could go anywhere, I could do anything, I could slay opponents. It was awesome. Command & Conquer Tiberian Sun Now I played every entry in the Command & Conquer franchise, up to CNC 3 anyway. But my favorite, and the one that truly stood out to me as a strategy game, was Tiberian Sun. Now I know that many CNC fans find Tiberian Sun to be the black horse of the franchise, but I spent the entire summer of 1999 dialing into Carl's modem and playing Tiberian Sun over IPX. I have many fun memories of listening to Matchbox 20, Goo Goo Dolls, and playing Tiberian Sun. But that's not why it's on this list. No, no, no. Tiberian Sun is the first game I ever modded. I downloaded the rules.ini file and started hacking away at the NPCs, factions, buildings, and units, giving jump jet units 300% more damage, setting the cost of the Obelisk of Light to a dollar, and later on in Red Alert 2, making chimps a buildable unit and able to throw lightning bolts. SimCity 4. I debated with myself which sim game I would put on this list. It wouldn't be hyperbole to say that in my life, Will Wright is the most storied and prolific game developer ever. Beyond Satoru Iwata, beyond Miyamoto, beyond even Sid Meier, I spent the first two decades of my life playing his games. SimCity 2000 followed by SimCity 3000. The Sims, Sims 2, SimCity 4, they were all contenders for this list. I have anecdotes about each of these games, but SimCity 4 is easily the game that I spent the most time with. SimCity, in general, taught me that games can be learning tools. It can be an environment for experimentation. It can also be open-ended and allow players to set their own goals. But SimCity 4, specifically, really shaped my understanding of civics. Playing it well into young adulthood, SimCity 4 was a great example of the role of government and the importance of planning and working on building something great. So I've had fun reflecting on the games of my youth that shaped who I am today, and if this video got you thinking about it too, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also let me know which games were most important to you down in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. If you enjoyed this video, you can pledge your support for the channel with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, you can hit that like button and share it with your friends. I'm the Linux Gamer. Thank you so much for watching.